Well, human trafficking is a crime that may be hard to spot, and many in our community may not know just how prevalent it is. Yeah, Northwest Florida has the highest rate of child human trafficking in the state, and the 14th Judicial Circuit Sex Trafficking Task Force is making it their mission to raise awareness and create a world with no victims. News Routine's Tess Rowland joining us live this morning with some folks on the details on how they're working to honor the victims. Good morning, Tess. Good morning, Chris and Aaron. That's exactly what it's about, a world with no victims. And today, January 11th, is National Sex Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Day. And as you can see behind me, line the Hathaway Bridge are 282 flags representing the victims in the Panhandle area. And I'm actually joined this morning with Miss Kendra Gracia, and she's actually a survivor. And she's going to be sharing her story tonight at 5 p.m. at the Candlelight Vigil. So I want to say thank you so much, Kendra, for joining us and being so brave to share your story. But tell me, why is it so important? Um, I think it's really important just to raise the awareness within community. And I think people just need to know that this is happening and it's happening here in our town and in our in our homes and in our schools. And we just need to bring the awareness to light so we can get everybody home safe. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. It's so inspiring to to see you, you know, triumph and, and grow from that pain and trauma that you experience yourself. And you're part of the task force, so you're part of the change, too. Uh, do you mind telling the viewers exactly what the task force is comprised of and how you guys are working to ensure that there are no more victims hopefully one day within this community. Yeah, the task force is just um, a bunch of us from the from education, religion, businesses, um, the police force. We're all just getting together just to bring that change that we want to see in the community and to help um, kind of come up with how to how to bring these victims home. All right, well, thank you so much. Education, awareness, and prevention. That's the name of the game with the task force. And if you would like to be a part of the change tonight, it's going to be right here at 5 p.m. at the Hathaway Bridge. You'll hear from Kendra and her story, as well as have a candlelight vigil. They're planning on walking across the bridge as well. So come on out and support. There will be coffee as well. We'll have a lot more from them this morning. But for now, live in Panama City this morning, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.